So what I will talk is, I think that it's a bit different from what we had, what all of you had been showing here. So here in Catalonia, the work with volunteers, it's not that extent as other parts of Europe, like, like UK, Ireland, Netherlands, Germany. So we really don't have this kind of a big projects working with a lot of volunteers. So the case that I will explain, it's a very, very small village. We are in the center of Catalonia. It's a small village with less than 6,000 people that it was pioneer in this area, just doing something with the students. So this is, this is the, the village. The village have a high school and to do something with the, the students when they finish the classes, between the parents have holidays, one of the teachers, they decided, okay, we can do something with the heritage in the community. This teacher was interested, so they can start to do a summer camp, 10 days per year, just to look for all remains that they were knowing that they was. So the remains are in that area. This is a zoom of this area. So, and it turns out that it was at least four big sites, mostly medieval, but also modern, with interesting remains. So they start to dig here in 2005, and we had been doing this until today and keep going. So the volunteers, this is just works with the volunteers. So the main volunteers are the, the students between 12 and 16. So they are helped with all the students from the same high school that now they become archaeologists just because they have been sharing this project for many years. So they came every single year and help us. The retired people, so they cleaned the site before we arrived. So all these retired men have also group. We have a group of motorbike that they borrow us these tents just to survive for the hot. <laughs> the women of the village make the, the breakfast. So they pay us, well, not me, but the students with the breakfast and the 50% of the swimming pool ticket from the summer. <laughs> <laughs> and also the big company in the area that help us with the machine just to clean the heaps and the spoils. So who paid this? So the city council really believe that this is a community project, so they <clears throat> pay me. I'm the only one that get uh, paid just because I have to do this as if it was a professional uh, digging. So I have all the permissions of the government, so I have to keep going the same. So I need results at the very end. So another, another professional archaeologist helped me, but we do all the registration system following the same things that if it was 100% professional. So we get results, we publish articles, so we get final results. So this is, the church starts to be dig in 2008. It, it was just a pile of soil. And just with the students, so we have a group between 15 and 35, depending how much they, they put in the list every year. So, but the church that we work in two areas, it had been changing a lot with the years, just with them. And what we have is this now. Uh, the other side where we work, it's the tower. We start to dig here in 2014. This is, was the view in 2014. And the same process. So here, of course, the machine helped us to clean a bit the surroundings. But step by step, it keep going, making this something else. That it was not visible just 15 uh, years ago, but just the same type of people that help us stone by stone moving what it's need to move. So this is what we have now. So what is this? So the project, it's uh, now with the years, it's part of a program that pretends to make this area like a visit as a site just to get guided tours. So we realized that this is was the first place where the people of the area was placed in the medieval times around 10th century. And from there, around 13th century, they move from where the city, it's the city, the village, it's right now. So this is a very important place from the story of the locals. So they really want to put this and make it visible and be able to have guided tours. But always have been 
one of the main things, this teaching aspect. So the kids, the students learn how to do the things, but at the same time, they are part of the discovery of their village and they are learning to appreciate their cultural heritage. And another thing is that everybody in the village, in one way or the other, if they want it, can be part of the project. So trying to answer the three main questions of the session. So what are the roles of volunteers and how to manage their and other expectations? So everybody have clear what's the role is there. And it's my job and the other archeologists that help me just to make sure that everybody follow the rules. So we are very lucky because the city hall really believe in us. So we are following a very strict <coughs> system. So the students dig, dig everything, whatever it's appear under our supervision. They, we teach them how to do all the job. It's, it takes, it will take forever, this excavation, but I mean, they are a new archeologist now that they can keep going. So also the ones that have an other interest, they can come with their tools, with their toys, and they can take these aerial photos. So the aerial photos that they show you, that's are being done for one of the boys that participate one of the years on the site. So can the public itself be volunteer? Not really now. So they have to be in this list at the beginning. So the people that visit us, visit us. It's enough to deal with the students just we can really not make this bigger but if they tell us in advance we can include them on the group and the last question is how volunteers can contribute in the archaeolog archaeological outreach for us it's also very important to show this so at the end of the season the kids the students explain their experience and explain from the people that visit us in the open day but explain this in the school explain this at the parents explain, explain this at the friends so the main goal it's that makes them happy, have a great experience in the summer, and they will keep going, appreciating what they have, and telling the others that with less resources, we can make this possible. So this really can help this us with us. So that's it. Thank you.